Hello, my name is Apu. Hi, I'm Ralph William, and I've been a good boy. Yes, and today, Ralph and I will be teaching you how to restring a mallet instrument. I'm Idaho. In order to restring your mallet instrument, you will need the following items. First, your instrument. A marimba, a vibraphone, or a xylophone. Xylophone, Ralph. I'm learning. You will also need bar mounting cord, which will hold up the keys and prevent clinking, like this noise. And you'll need a lighter. And you'll need scissors. My parents won't let me use scissors. First, how do you know when to restring? You restring when your cord breaks or when the cord has the white stuff. If you see any of the white string, that is a very common sign for needing to restring your instrument. The first step to restring is to cut the cord that you're about to replace. Yes, and yet out from the bars of the instrument. Don't forget to remove all strings so there's no bad stuff. Make sure the keys are laying on the red resonators so no cord holding them up. These are springs! I like springs! Make sure you hold on to these because we will need them at the end! The springs are used for connecting the ends of the cord together and to prevent any part of the cord dragging down. You then want to take the new cord, wrap it roughly around your keys, and cut the perfect amount. Make sure your cord length is not too big or not too small. Yeah, what the tall man said. Then take your lighter and light both ends of the cord. It tastes like burning. We light the ends so that way we can fit the cord through the holes of the key easier. Cut the ends if you need to with your scissors or your teeth. No, Ralph, do not use your teeth. But, but yes, using scissors is the best way to sharpen the end of your string. Then start at the left side, stringing cord through the bottom holes of the keys. If you hold up your hand and it makes an L, then that's your left. I learned that from my grandma. Ah, uh, yes, very good, Ralph. Now be sure to align the keys so have each hole near each other, which allows you to pull through the bars easier than ever. Once you get to the end, wrap the cord around the two pegs at the end. They have an indent in them to fit the cord in. Then, guess what? You pull the cord through the holes on the top. So simple, so easy. I like pulling the cord through the holes because it makes me feel strong. Once you get back to the left side of your instrument, you pull both ends tightly to the end. This will hold the bars up as strong as humanly possible. Humanly, Ralph. Humanly. Now, remember those springs we talked about earlier? Pull them out since the next step is to connect the cord together. Yay! Springs! Try the springs as much as possible, then knot both ends separately. Then connect the springs together. Then you're done! I won! I won!